All right, I wanted to post a follow-up video with my sling setup for my uh, SBR CZ Scorpion. Um, this is still the uh, advanced gunslinger armament uh, hit sling. But what I did differently with it, and I ended up leaving it as, is if you remember the other video I showed, I had a little, I used the existing T-tab back here and taped it off, and it didn't really look that great in it. Biggest thing is when you had it slung and you brought it up, it would kind of start poking you in the nose and that. Um, I went back to actually just using a key ring, like originally comes with the Scorpion. And um, with this being a one inch sling, the one that would fit going forward um, on the little T fitting, I just put around this part of the ring and you know the other one to kind of make up for the T so it wasn't so rigid. Ran it through with some glide locks, locked them, and then I cut it to length after I was happy with where it is. So, you can use it, cinch it down real tight, keep it up close when you need it. Pull it, you can deploy it as needed. I got it real tight right now. But then when you have it like a little bit looser, with it being on the key ring, it's not perfect, but you can switch and use it both ways. Falls down pretty well, the way it should. And um, one thing I like about it too is you can do this in either the two or the single point. Is uh, once you hike up on it a little bit, you can kind of tuck it off to the side and go about doing your thing if you need to as well instead of have it right in front of you even when it's a little bit looser. And uh, it works a little bit better when you have gear on, because say if you have like your IFAC, or even I, I do have my pistol on too, the magazine and everything, it sort of sits over where the pistol is. So when you need to do what you're doing, it's out of the way completely. And if you have it in single point, and you got it cranked down tight too, the bang in your hair and is it tapping the RMR? Kind of the grip underneath and do your thing. And then for putting it on your back, same thing, it fits nice and tight. Then you're supposed to be able to grab it off your back a little bit quicker. Maybe it's just because I'm not as flexible as I used to be. We can either do that or swing it all the way around the other way from the back. But I've been really happy with this. It's, and I keep it so I can still use it. You'll see in the two point with it being tighter, see how this is sort of getting in my face. You can imagine with that other metal piece on there, it really was distracting. So if you, you know you were walking around or whatever, doing a whole bunch of stuff with your, your gear and then it kinks, it kind of fucks up your cheek weld, bringing it up. But I'm, I'm really happy with this. The only drawback, it hasn't happened too much on my Scorpion one yet, but uh, the material, seems to like wear and then the the little cam lock fitting here and it'll slowly loosen itself um i did go and i bought another one of the slings from them for a new rifle build and they use a different material now on this so i'm wondering if that's why i'm still super happy with this i love this setup with the scorpion sling um it does everything i need it to do um the last solution that I need to figure out, because this gun's so darn small, is uh, my friend's company with the sling retainer catch that I put videos on. I don't really have room to keep it on here to bundle all this up and keep it out of the way. But uh, what I've been doing when I put it in my safe is I keep it the stock taken out. Is you know this really isn't great to do if you need to get it your gun quick, but just for keeping it administratively, you know, you can kind of wrap it around the stock and it keeps it pretty neat. Let me just release the magazine there. But, yep, that's the update on the stock. Happy with it. Not the stock, the sling.